Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome to Boundless. Welcome back to those of you who are who have been with me for some time, and welcome to those who are new to the channel. This is Boundless, and if you aren't familiar with it, and if you are familiar with it, um, this is Boundless. <laughs> I'm actually in my storage area, or in the storage area for Purple Rain. Uh, I've been kind of toying with this place for, oh gosh, it's been over a month, and I just now kind of got an idea of what I want to do for the ceiling and floor, thanks to our, our new friend, Hash Malash. He has been absolutely amazing along with all the other people like digby caesar uh, lancelots veruca cat everyone be uh, oh gosh uh baby cookies i could go over and over um saying thank you for everything but this is what he showed me he showed me some really cool or hash i should say to be specific showed me some really cool lighting techniques um, actually, I think I did this wrong, so I may have to go back and yeah, I did. I need to bring this down further. So I would need to do that. I need to go back and do that. But this looks really, really cool. He actually added, um, some water in here and made this look super cool. So we're going to go back and fix that probably off camera, most likely off camera, but I don't know. I kind of like that a little bit. We'll see. Ooh, somebody died. Player defeated Dust Brother. Hmm. Um, don't know who that is. Must be a newbie. May not be. I don't know. We have a spitter problem around here. So, um, my plan for today, and I think uh, my plan for maybe a, a episode here or there, is to visit a couple um, city hubs around the way. You guys, if you watch um, our streams on Friday night, well, actually, it's Cosmic Streams, but Melanin Sims and I, Melanin Sims 2000, I recommend you visit her channel if you love games, as well as Cosmic Mermaid 2, if you love games. Um, Cosmic Sims, or Cosmic Sims, <laughs> Cosmic Mermaid streams on Twitch every Friday. She streams a Boundless, and Melanin Sims and I join her in Discord and in the game. And we get up to shenanigans because that's just what we do very well together. Um, but this is our settlement called Purple Rain. I've done this before. You all should know this is where we live. And we're starting to grow a little bit. We've got some visitors. Um, we've got a new person who's moved in. And I don't remember their name. It's like HTH or something like that. Speaking of these jerks that have just been worse uh, i'm gonna pick this up um but they moved in over here they're very very new to the game and i introduced myself because i have been deemed neighborhood watch um but you know what are you gonna do so um actually i had um the thought of showing you uh, the city of Ultima and reason being is um, well the wrong portal where am I going where am I going where am I going I don't know where I'm going well not just reason being I just wanted to, to feature a um, a city if I could a mall or a planet or something every now and then not every episode but maybe every other episode or i don't know we just we'll, we'll, if we're feeling froggy um that's what we're gonna do oh there was our neighbor they went through the portal i hope they're doing good um they're pretty pretty much going at it alone but i did tell them if they have any questions i'm probably not the one to ask but i you know offered my services either way so oh yes this is what happens when i get distracted i also have my cup of coffee with me because it's kind of mm, not late it's um it's late afternoon but it's just been one of those days where i've got nothing done nothing accomplished except for things that i've done in real life but when it comes to recording or anything like that it's just been one of those weeks um i was on the ball last week but this week it's just meh and i don't understand what i'm what's going on but um it's not like i don't feel like recording it's kind of one of the things that I think where I just want to play and that's it and not record. And I think 
people who record on YouTube understand that. Not that this is my full-time job. No, I have a full-time job. Oh, they're waving at each other. All right, so um, as I was saying, but I, I am blessed to even be able to do this and I, I love it. It's just every now and then I just wanna play for me. And that may sound selfish, I don't know, but that's how I feel. Either way, I love to be in the game. So I wanted to be able to share some of the places that I've visited and got the chance to tour. And I just want to say thank you to Hash Malash, excuse me, again, for taking me on the tour on, um, was it Thursday night? And then again on Friday night um, with Cosmic Mermaid so she could see what I saw. Now, I'm not going to repeat everything because I feel like um, the, for those that may have, well, maybe, I don't know, we can go back into a couple bases. There is a one place that I really would love for everybody to see, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, we're in Ultima. This is their headquarters or their central headquarters. And the first thing that caught my eye when I walked into the portal, and I found this portal by accident one day, was this angel. And then, um, Hashmalash told me, gave me a little secret he said that if you stand here and you look at the eyes of the angel and you kind of move left to right or what have you, it looks like the eyes are following you, uh, which is kind of cool and kind of creepy at the same time. Um, but this is the base of to their port, like a portal, um, which is really cool. I can't open it. I don't have permission, but um, they have portals in here. And I thought that was really amazing. But just look at the details of this angel it's amazing i just get so like in awe of everything that people do in this game um just the idea of being able to take any block that's available to you and create something this gorgeous with of course patience skill and some chisels um and then being able to stay alive using grapples because most of the people do this um, very, very slowly, probably with grapples. I have yet to get it down pat, but you know, I'm working on it. Let's just go in here. I haven't been in here before. Let me pull up my, my, my little torch. Okay, there's nothing in here yet, but it looks like somebody's working in something um, cool. I like the, the tunnel there. So let's take a look. This is um, a, a store, actually, um, I love this area. Look at all the colors, how they've got the the foliage matched up with these. What are these called? This is a wood pole. Um, and you see everything that's in the game pretty much has that particular item comes in every single color that's available in the game. So you'll have no problem matching stuff up. I just love how people just take the time to detail every little thing gleam that's chiseled into diamonds and and they've taken windows and made them into stairways and um, roofing this is a waterfall with a little secret behind it i don't know if i should be showing you guys this but there it is how cool is that really love that um and the gleam is just great lighting um and I think it's just awesome how the community comes together to um, embrace new people and have no problem helping you out with questions such as how to play with lighting, how to create things like this. Um, and they will show you. Um, and I, I just think that it's amazing. It's been very impressive to me. And I know that some people don't. It's just things like that that make you want to play the game more because the community. Community is a big thing for me because I have been an MMO player for years. Uh, wow. World of Warcraft, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a high fantasy MMO. Um, and I've been playing it since um, BC or um, Burning Crusade. And I love, I still love playing WoW, but the community has changed, certainly. Um, and I have my own thoughts on that, but I still love playing the game, but it's just not the same anymore. People don't socialize as much as they used to. So rather than me getting on my pedestal and preaching, I just want to give let you guys take a gander at all of the art artistry 
in some of these stores. Look at how the plants grow, or you can you can actually these are starberries, yeah, starberries, and how they grow from trees. So you can plant them by in the foliage, uh, foliage. Yeah, I'm saying that word right, just like that. And then you've got plants here. These are tubers, and these are just the foliage from the tree with gleam underneath, which is a gorgeous effect, and water and sand or what have you. Um, yeah, so Ultima apparently is one of the, or the biggest city on in the game so far. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and it's, it's just expansive. I have probably run these streets uh, a few times and I'm pretty sure I have yet to see everything. I mean, there's little hidden, um, places. Um, this tree is gorgeous. This tree is gorgeous. Look, look at this. Let's go down here. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's down here. Oh, that's that tunnel. Is this the tunnel that I was just in? No, no, no. I don't know what this is, but it looks like this is the beginning of a shop. Um, or it is a shop. Oh, oh, I love this tree trunk. Actually, I kind of need a little bit more of this. Um, I won't take a full stack, but I'll grab from this. Um, because I need some more of that. All right, um, because I have plans for that color and the, that wood. All right. So, where am I going? Where am I going next? What can we see? Oh, so let me explain planets really quickly to you guys. So you can probably see these two large um, planets off to the off in the distance. Let me see if I can get a better view. But you can also see these star-like things. These are oh, that's an inhospitable, potent atmosphere. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's Till. Um, I've been to Till before. I may have mentioned it in the last episode, but you see that trunk over there, and then there's uh, Zazak or Dazazak, I think. Um, those two are the closest planets to uh, where we're at, which is Aresho. Please correct me if I'm saying these planets incorrectly. Um, for those of you who play Balmas and know <laughs> know what you're talking, know what you're talking about. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. I get so distracted easily. This is why I need to stand still. But that looks like the scream mask. It is. You guys, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. I've been to and fro in this city and I still have not seen all of it. Who did this? This is amazing. I wonder if I can just, I could probably just like hit a block and it would tell me, um owned by Cassidy. So whoever Cassidy is, this is their goo paint and pigment store. I feel like I want to go in here just to kind of check it out. This is how you get people in your stores. You see the building and it looks like that. I mean, that's creepy, but it's still amazingly cool. Um, but anyways, the closer the planet is to you, the bigger it's going to be just like the moon. There's one, right? Is that the moon? I've never seen that before. Um, so you are able to portal if you have like a ability to um, open up a portal to that planet right there you can and that's how you can get to some exos back in that is not an exo but look how cool that looks in the distance there and I've seen planets like fly through the sky like that and they'll get bigger and bigger I've also seen one that was kind of bouncing around it was crazy I wish I'd taken the footage because I was just in awe watching it and I, later I thought about, I was like, I should have, I should have caught this on tape, on tape. What, what am I, what is this, the 80s? Uh, I should have um, hit play or record on Steam Labs and um, or Stream Labs. Why do I keep calling that Steam Labs? I keep doing that. This is really, really cool. I love the lighting effect here. Then um, this is probably, yeah, this is that cherry, is this that cherry red gleam? Yeah, it's shadow red. This is also Cassidy's. Cassidy, you, what are you doing? You're doing some amazing things. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. That I think is marble up there or ice. I can never tell. It's marble, it's white marble. Apparently in the game, mar white marble, well any like light color um, 
black will take on the color of what's of what's underneath so if you have white marble with a dark pink or, or this this really pretty red you see how the lighting shines through so white marble or like white ice or any like light color ice um is like ideal if you want lighting effects like this i think this is marble still yeah that's marble it looks like ice doesn't it but yeah so that's me getting distracted again but i i'm what is this this is gloviathosa yep um but you can see that this planet is fairly close they have some really pretty gleam on that that um, planet by the way so let's just continue to take a look see around the town um but before i go i do want to run you guys i hope i can find the portal um if not i may just like if i can't find it while i'm running around i'll cut and then i'll come back and um, show you guys once i'm there i want to try to keep this video as short as possible but you guys know me i like to talk i like to yap um uh, so, yeah, I'm just like going around in circles. Ooh, what is this place? Atlanta Shop and Portal Hub. Look at that. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. I see they do have some portals here. Oh, this is to DK's Ultima Tree. That's where I can't. I usually come in from. Um, let me see where else I could go. What's over here? <gasps> Oh, yeah, I've seen this before, and this is freaking amazing. Who does this? This is Baby Cookie. Oh, my gosh, you guys. If you've ever watched a stream of Cosmic Mermaid, you if you haven't watched one, I highly recommend that you go back and watch um, the one from the uh, 21st. Of February if it's available I mean I'm recording this on the 22nd of February and this will be released on the following Monday so I'm just saying if you want to know who baby cookie is you, please watch that because baby cookie is crazy oh look at all this pretty gleam okay I need to come back I need to come back baby cookie I really do um, what oh my gosh okay so this is probably exo gleam i i'm yeah black what is this these are beautiful colors okay these are all is this exo as well still turquoise that's like one of my favorite oh my gosh look at that look how pretty that is how much is that Eight thousand. you gotta be kidding me but this is probably exo more than likely and i think we talked i talked about this before I might not have, but EXO, by the way, this is amazing. This is the symbol of the game. You probably will see this in the thumbnail, but um, I love the sculpting here. Freaking awesome. Anyway, so EXO planets are planets that, that like rare spawns almost if, you know, like um, in an MMO or even RPGs might have rares. Um, but you know what a rare is, right? A rare mob that, um, it has a spawn time uh, or a spawn path. And, um, that's kind of the same way with the planets. They're, they're available at certain times or for only, um, a certain amount of time. And you have to port to the, the nearest planet to get to them. They are the most dangerous planets and therefore have the rarest of, um, source blocks uh, which are why they're so expensive in the first place. This beautiful tower you see in Castle right across there, that belongs to Hashmalash, and he's it's a work in progress, but look at it. But I'm, I'm having a great time just running through the city. Oh my gosh. I saw this yesterday. Just looking at this, okay. There is a build in... Um, the game that I really want you guys to see and I'm going in 20 minutes in this video so I'm going to try to find this build as soon as possible and I'm going to spend some time showing you guys this amazing just, even just a portion of it because I can't take pictures to to even explain the the craziness I don't even it's it's not crazy it's next level creativity and talent 
but looking at this building kind of reminds me of the person of that person i can't never remember that person's name but this i almost guarantee you this is because this looks familiar these banners and this column oh my gosh look at the column look at this okay let me go in here what is is this a store yeah this is a store okay yeah this has to be the same person because now this looks familiar this color scheme these columns the columns out here um the banner like the this looks like kind of an asian motif uh, look at the outside where the there's like these are chisels you see these things up here that are that are flashing those are chisels he took this led block and chiseled it to make it look like a chisel. That's insane. Um, okay, let me see if this is, it is. It's Pyro, I don't even know how to say that name, but look at this, it's gorgeous. This is definitely, yeah, obviously this is the same person, but this is just a taste of what he can do. Um, and this is his store. Like, this makes you want to come and see this store because it's gorgeous. It is, it's gorgeous. It reminds me of like those old antique um, shops. You go in and you don't want to touch anything because everything's like more expensive than you could ever afford to replace or it, everything's priceless. Um, so you just kind of go in and you just keep your hands to your side. That's how I feel walking in this house. Um, it, it just looks... I, I'm just awestruck. Oh my gosh, it's a ba bomb. I saw this yesterday. Um, what is this? H S E Holy Cerisian Empire. Oh, I wonder what this is. Okay, well this is another city that we might have to come and visit. Definitely. Oh yeah, we're definitely coming here um, next time around. But let's head back in here. Look at. Okay, this was such the cutest build. I saw this yesterday and i know i'm running over i said i was going to stop and try to find that build but i wanted you guys to see this look at this barn look at this if there were mounts in this game who's coming here and not closing doors how rude these are little stalls look oh my gosh see now i kind of want to replicate this in minecraft um oh this is super cute i wish we had chisels in minecraft Okay, we are now in uh, Pyro's base, and this is uh, his portal room. Take a look at this. It's stuff that fantasies are made of, like absolutely beautiful. And we're going through the exit here, and this, yep. So remember that store? Check that out. So the, yeah, that looked exactly, not exactly, but the... Oh my gosh, let's go down here. And I wanna show you his greenhouse. You have to see his greenhouse. Um, for those of you who watched Cosmic Stream, I apologize for the repeat, but I feel like people really need to see this. This house needs to be showcased. And I absolutely, prob more than likely, will not do this house the justice that it deserves. But um, I just wanna give you guys a quick look around. Um, this is his old tower, I wonder um what that looks like so this is where he started this is probably pro oh my gosh look at the old tower okay you know what we're gonna have to come back we're gonna have to come back i i, I was floored when i first saw this i continue to still be in awe um because i could never this looks like an elevator all right, so let's head downstairs, and um, I, I want to do this properly. Now, you, we can go further down um, because there is, like, a, a little stairwell down, or is it across here or somewhere like that? It might be on the other side. I don't remember. I know Cosmic and I went down there. Now I can't find it, of course, um, but we'll just go through here. It might be on the other side. Is there, like, another way? Maybe. But this is his workshop. I think I just want you guys to take it all in this right here this glowy blue block he chiseled that this is an actual machinery that you can use in the game but he made this look like liquid coming through another just all this is chiseled these are storage boxes that he made look like machinery 
like he attached it to make it look like machinery all these pipes that he chiseled underneath are the actual machines that we use to craft extractors uh, refinery uh, he's got like I don't know what this is but it looks <laughs> I, I more um, storage boxes cabinets that look like let me back up so you guys can see this. Look at these. These are tanks. He chiseled that. That's water, but he made that look like, and these look signs that he made look like meters. Of course, this looks like the release valve. Chiseled that too. All this liquids that you can use in the game. I think these are like for, I don't know what these are for actually, the liquids. I think that it's for farming, but I'm not sure. But look at that, look at that. This is some of his storage area. Um, there's a storage room that you guys, it looks like um, a wine cellar. But look, it, it's insane. It's insane. Um, I have no words for this. It's. The amount of detail and time this took. He chiseled every single one of these pieces of gleam. These are gleam. And every single thing that looks like a pipe and the filigree and just this is an actual, um, I forgot what this is called. Well, I don't know how to say it, but this, I use this on a daily basis, but I, Chrysam, uh, Chrysomenter, Chrysom, I don't know. You guys, I can read. Believe me, um, I think it must be on the other side. Okay, so yeah, because this is, there's a downstairs. There's like a little, okay, that's lava, but look at this. These are furnaces that we use. Look at this, look at the furnaces. The furnaces come like this. There's a the top and the base. He made this look like there was pipes. He chiseled that the iron refined iron and the uh, compact iron yeah uh or titanium compact titanium to make it look like there's pipes going in and um some of them have gleam over it, the, like these little diamonds that's gleam he chiseled that look at the ceiling look at that another sign looks like a meter it's so much to look at down here this is awfully dark. I don't think this... Oh. I didn't see this part. Oh my gosh. It looks like he might be working on this. Or he makes he's making it look like it's um, the oldest part of his house and it's ru in ruins. Um, yeah, that's what this is. Oh my gosh. Look at you guys. Look at the lighting outside. Look at this. These look like candles. Let me take you to the courtyard. We came in this way. Look at this. Um, just every single detail. So let's see if I can get over into the, um, the garden area what is this this is oh this is the this is the um this is auto here's the wine i think this is looks supposed to be a wine cellar but look at it again i'm just giving you a quick once over and then we are going to head out of here um, hopefully I can find my way out. I think we came through here, right? Yes, we did. All right. So let me see if I can find my way out of here and then I will see you guys in just a moment. All right. We're making our way across the bridge. Look at that. That's the portal place we just came from or came from when we got over here. Look at the lighting. It's crazy. But this is a botanical gardens, I guess. It's literally a greenhouse. Um, look at the planets. This is like a perfect view. Oh my gosh. Um, I just want to quickly show you guys this clock. Now at night, I don't know if this is going to do it justice. 
but this a clock over there and you can see the gears um, we might be able to get a little bit closer but check that out I forgot who um hash Malash told me created that it wasn't the same guy that did this but look he's just as talented isn't that crazy insanity insanity and I wish I, I was just as insane um, so let's run up here. I think I have the hiccups now. That's wonderful. You got another view of that. Look at this. See the detail? He made this look like this is an old iron um, greenhouse or botanical gardens, and it's rusted in certain spots. Um, and from what I was told, he did this to replicate a building in London. Um, I love this color scheme, this ashen taupe, I think this is, and this is silk orange sand. <laughs> Look at this. It's amazing. Look, I wish I could show you, I wonder if I can lighten it up in here a little bit. This area is amazingly beautiful. The little bridges that go across each area that's ready for plants. I can only imagine what he's got, got going on or will be working on. Apparently right here, he's playing around with wood and seeing how it um, melts together. This looks really good, um, but yeah. All right. That being said, guys, the tour is over. I do hope that you enjoyed this little view of uh, the Ultima headquarters or base as well as Pyro's amazing work of art that he has over here. Again, um, excuse me, I did give you a quick run through of uh, his base in Ultima but I do hope that you take the time to visit these places if you have not and you're playing the game but if you're not playing the game and you like to build and, and chisel things and <laughs> well just build in general and you like a great community and you love to create and you don't mind shooting monsters every now and then um, I do think that you would have a great time here in Boundless and love to see you here um, and spend some time with us Anyways, I hope you guys had a great time watching this as I did um, just kind of exploring. Um, that being said, I am Pixelated Twix and I will see you later. Ciao.